And we are back. What is up, Hall of Famers on YouTube? Card Shop Eric here back live at Hall of Fame Baseball Cards in Arcadia, California. Getting ready to execute episode number seven of this Personal Breaks series where we, me and the Card Shop Maddie, who's here, open up boxes of cards just for you guys, the viewers. Uh, this has been a fun series so far. One, we're just kind of taking month to month just to see kind of what shakes out, what kind of support we can find, and and have a little fun. Uh, we're continuing it through the month of August at this point. Um, we got, as you can see, we already got a few boxes lined up on deck here, and they're all Bowman Sterling. David B.R. is going to be uh, first at the plate, followed by Scotty Z and Raider Ralph. Then we got a couple boxes of football cards that we're going to open for some people. So we already got a few boxes lined up. So if you want us to open a box for you on this, epi on this episode tonight, uh, get those orders in as soon as possible so that we make sure we get your boxes in uh, during this period. We, uh, we break till about 6, 6.30 p.m., depending on how many people want to jump in, but it usually goes till about that long. Um, I'll show you how to do that. Follow me right now. Let's switch to the main screen. I'm going to show you our website real quick. So if you're going to go to our website, to which I am going to drop a link right now into the group chat, hofbc.com. You can click that link if you want. It takes us right to our home page. There we have Topps Heritage High Number. Uh, if you click on Hover Over Store, then clip, click on Group Breaks, and it'll go to these pages here. Now you can also see our Panini Chronicles Case Break, which is a group break. We have our Topps Throwback Group Break, a little four-box mixer. But then everything else are our full boxes or packs that are available to purchase right now, and we'll open them for you right here on the live stream. So basically any of these products that say Personal Break in the title, you buy, for example, you want the brand new Unparalleled Football, $119.99 shipped. Shipping is included on these personal break products, which is cool. A lot of people jumping on Bowman Sterling, $209.99, shipped. I'd love to have someone pick up some Star Wars Chrome. I would love to check out a box of Star Wars Chrome, even a mini box, $59.99, free shipping. Um, got some more basketball here. We got some Topps Chrome. Uh, we got some Immaculate and some Panini Optic. We got some uh, Gold Standard Football. Uh, we just reduced the price on Elements Football down to $119.99 a box shipped. Yeah, on this third page, you'll see some National Treasures bas Basketball, uh, some Museum Collection Baseball, some more football products. Uh, Tier 1 has been a popular break here, Tier 1 Baseball. Uh, I'd like to see somebody jump on the Bowman HTA Baseball Box, $349.99, shipped. That's probably the best price on the internet right now in those boxes. Um, but we got a lot of stuff. Diamond Kings, $69.99, shipped for a full box of Diamond Kings. We'll open it up for you tonight. So that's how group breaks work. You can check that link. I'm actually going to paste, I think, paste another link right now, too. That'll go right to our group breaks pages. So there's another link right there. You can click those, jump in. We got people jumping in as I speak right now. For now, we're going to kick it off. Let's let's get to opening some cards. Maddie, are you ready? I am ready. YouTube viewers, are you ready? <laughs> David BR up first at bat here. Scotty Z on deck. Raider Ralph in the hole, followed by Brian L. and Richard M. But for right now, we're checking out Bowman Sterling. Three times in a row, folks. And uh, while I'm getting into this first box, I'll do some location shout-outs. We're located in Arcadia, California. Where are you guys located? Drop your location into the chat right now. I'll do a few shout-outs. Joshua, first from Santa Clarita. Michael, Michael FH, what's up? NYC. <clears throat> Who else we got out there? We got Fisher in Colorado and... Uh, David BR, what's up? This box for you, buddy. Corona, California. Marshall in Alberta. Colin in Indiana. Joey B, what's up? In uh, Morgantown, West Virginia. Mind of a Savage, Baltimore. Caleb in Illinois. Monrovia 22, Richard. What's up? 
uh, Beehive in Arcadia, Mind of a Savage in Baltimore, Shaggy in El Paso, Dub Mods in Louisiana, Bubble Pug, what's up in Wisconsin? So we got a lot of people chiming in. As you chime in, why don't you hit that like button for us right now? And let's see, I'm going to try to mention this. I'm going to hit the like button over here. We have a personal challenge. We like to see how many likes we can get during a live stream. And if I mention it early enough and enough times, we might have a chance to break our new old record of, what was it, 124? Yeah, yeah, that was incredible. Well, we have to get started early. We're already at 24, so we need 100 more before this break's over. But we still have a, a two hours to go easily on this break. David BR, buddy, this box is for you right here, my man. Hope you're watching. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, box in the middle, and then while I'm getting into this for you, David, if you want, you can pick another box, one, two, three, or four, to, for me to open after this. I know sometimes you're pretty laid back about it, but if you want to pick a box for me to open next, you're welcome to. I wish you luck, buddy. Thanks for jumping in and helping us kick off episode number seven with some of the brand new and smoking hot Bowman Sterling. It's nice to have another Bowman product on the market, especially a nice Bowman chrome looking product, and especially a Bowman product that has one autograph in every pack. I think that's a cool little thing. So Wander Franco kicks it off base card there. Sixto Sanchez, autograph behind him. We also got Brendan McKay. We got Nolan Gorman. This is a hot pack of rookies right here. And we've got Ian Anderson. Uh, by the way, David said box four. One, two, three, four. So it's going to be this one next for David. Put that right there. Just hoping that would stand up for me. Your autograph, David, in this pack is Chance Adams. Excuse me, wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? Been seeing a lot of Chance Adams come out this year, yeah. haven't we? We've seen a few. I think we New have. Yorker. But this is a nice on-card refractor rookie autograph, numbered 108 out of 150. And you can't go wrong with the New York rookies, man. New York has a pretty good way of uh, raising their boys right, if you know what I mean. Don't you think? Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of talent coming out of it. A lot of talent coming out of New York. <clears throat> I'm going to do that here. I'll put all of them into there. All right, David, here's, here's box number four for you coming up right now. If you got another number in mind after this, why don't you type it in right now for me, buddy? What's up, everybody in the chat right now? I see everyone popping in. Try to uh, respond to some messages as we can, but just focus in on some business right here. You guys can chat amongst yourselves. Anybody in the chat? Anybody else picked up any Bowman Sterling from yourself? Or for yourself, I should say? Here's uh, Diaz. Madrigal. So the next one should be... Oh, jeez. They're switching the autograph. Here's Christian Pash. And we got... Kyle Tucker, we got Brandon Lowe, and the autograph is, oh, Christian Pass, <laughs> Dean Kramer. Dean Kramer, or Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Baltimore Orioles prospect, Dean Kramer right there. So there you go, David. Let's see if he typed another one. All you guys, run the show for me. Okay, you know what I want to do? I want to check out this pack that is upside down. This pack came upside down. I'm, it's causing me to think that there might be something inside of it. I'm actually going to take these out and set them right there. Do this. Do that. Do that. Do that. Boom. All right. Let's see what's up with this upside down pack. You know, we've had some weird anomalies in the past where... You never know. Sometimes an upside-down pack might mean something interesting, right? It could, it could be upside-down mojo, just like David says. I did a video once. We were doing a live video last year or the year before. Remember, it was Stadium Club. Uh-huh. Remember, and I had the box of Stadium Club out here, and I picked up a pack, and one of the packs next to it sat up, like, on its side like this. Like, and I was like, oh, my gosh, did you guys see that pack just sit up? It's somewhere on our YouTube channel. And sure enough, there was like a... A huge, like, either rookie autograph or a redemption in that pack. Remember? You don't remember that? I don't remember seeing that one, but I'm convinced it was a ghost. So you never know. Let's see. Dylan Cease. Victor Mesa Jr. So next one, the autograph. Next one, maybe the autograph. It could be the one behind it. They're kind of stuck together. 
See, both those cards right there are stuck together, and one of them has an autograph. Uh, David Fletcher, Ryan O'Hearn. So let's see. Okay. So it's the one. So Ronaldo Hernandez, numbered out of 199, and then stuck to it. <laughs> yeah, that's, what that's what I'm talking about. Now, it might not always work out the way that we want, but <laughs> it does mark a, a little bit of an anomaly there. So these cards, in a pack that was upside down in the box, the cards were stuck together, and that's kind of sometimes what happens. Nobody knows why. Certainly, I don't know why. But uh, but Ronaldo Hernandez right there coming out two times. That can happen. That's kind of part of the fun about uh, collecting cards. Just some of the weird anomalies. Remember that there was a one year where where there was a box of cards that had all one of ones in it. You remember that oh, one? Yeah. That was last year, or the year before. <laughs> I think we speculated it was just. Late, they ran out of uh, they ran out of product and they're like, oh, we got to get these cards in here at the last. Yeah, I don't know why that happens, but you know, mistakes happen in every business, especially businesses where we have you know machines that are you know printing and packing and collating and sorting all the cards and stuff like that. You know, machines aren't perfect. Machines are only created created by humans, which are well, except for you. Aside, well, I was gonna say aside from you, yeah, not perfect. <laughs> Chance Adams here, Ramon Laureano here, we got Juan Pablo Martinez is the autograph, and then Heath Fellmeyer, a little speckle out of 99, Travis Swaggerty, and Jared Kalanick rounding out the pack there. Let me sleeve these up for David BR real quick, Heath Fellmeyer, and Juan Pablo Martinez going in the sleeve right there. So there you go, David BR. Last pack for you coming up, my man. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. All right, Andres Jimenez. Williams Astudio. That's your guy. I think there's an autograph behind him, maybe. There's Brendan Rogers. There's Kyle Wright. And then the autograph is probably going to be right here. Sheldon Nuice, or Nice, or Noose. Number seven out of 150. That's a nice looking refractor. I like he, how he used like the line to just sign above. Like it was. He didn't use the middle of the card. He just needed the uh, the yeah, bottom just, line. Just right there in the corner there. Yeah. And then Royce Lewis, numbered uh, 20 out of 25. Nice little blue parallel from a certainly a hot prospect and a talented young ball player right there. Number one draft pick. Yeah. So there you go, David B.R. That was your box of uh, Bowman Sterling. Hope you enjoyed watching that. We certainly enjoyed... Uh, Opening up these packs for you and showing them off for you. Thanks for your continued support, David. We appreciate it. And I guess we'll probably see you in the shop soon. Now batting, Scotty Z with another box of Bowman Sterling. Raider Ralph on deck with Bowman Sterling. And then we got some football. Brian L. in the hole. And Richard Martinez, both with a couple of boxes of football. And then uh, we got some a uh, couple other boxes on on the far deck behind me, and then we still got uh, we still got some time after that to open up some more stuff for people. So if you want us to open up a box of cards for you tonight, there's the link. Oh, Soup's up in here dropping links too. Everybody say what's up to Soup. James R is up in the chat too. James R, by the way, thank you again. We did get these in the mail, Moxie Soda, and we will be sampling these at the end of the break tonight. Or maybe somewhere in the middle, depending on how parched I get. But yes, we do have some Moxie Soda from Maine on deck as well. Thanks to James R. <clears throat> Let's see what's up. Uh, this is Scotty Z. Scotty Z said that he was probably not going to be able to watch tonight, but he wanted to support anyways, and he just said, hey, pull some fire for me. 
So, Scotty Z, whenever you get around to watching this, thank you for, for jumping in, even though you can't watch live. I'm sure you'll be watching this later on this evening or tomorrow. And uh, I hope we do pull some fire for you. Let's see what's up with Bowman Sterling for Scotty Z. I'm just going to go in order. I'm going to go start at the top left. Mikey Bathurst says, hey, man, if I go to the site and buy something, will you break... Yeah, Mikey, we'll break it. it any, just got... You got to pick any product that says personal break. Any product that says personal break, those are available for breaking right now. And that can be done by using that link that we just dropped about 30 seconds ago. And go to our group breaks page and pick any box of cards that say the words personal break in the title. Here's Bo Bichette for Scotty Z. He's having a season so far, right? Oh, yeah. Joey Bart, also a good name to collect these days, followed by a couple orange. cards. Yeah, there's some gold. That's probably just the cold, gold parallels. Justin Sheffield, Taylor Ward. Let's see what's behind Joey Bart. I'm going to check this one first. Adonis Medina, 10 out of 50. Nice old gold parallel there. That's a pretty looking card there. There you go, Scotty. Starting off with some gold, baby. And then your auto in this pack, Jordan Groshans. There we go. There we go. That's a way to kick it off. Man, Toronto is just stacked with young talent right now. It's crazy how many young guys they've gotten to autograph in these products. Don't you think so? Absolutely. It seems like every every break there's like three Toronto rookies that we crack. And there's the Adonis Medina card right there, which I actually like more than the Jordan Groshans. I wish this was signed. But I digress. That's pack number one for Scotty Z. I'm going in order for you tonight, Scotty. Cam Vett, what's up? He says, how's your day? Karch up, Eric and Matt. I hope it's great. Doing all right so far, buddy. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Cabrian Hayes coming out on the first pack. Luis Roberts. We also got Brad Keller and Danny Jansen, another Blue Jay. And then the color, whoo, Luis Urias right here, nice. who I just read took over the shortstop position for the most likely out for the season, Fernando Tatis Jr., unfortunately. But Luis Urias is going to be moving from second base to shortstop. And who knows, hopefully he can perform and uh, maybe he does. Maybe he starts coming up big towards the end of the season. And, but that's a nice blue parallel autograph, numbered 8 out of 25. Scotty Z should be happy with that one. Pretty nice. And then there was another card here that I was thought would have been the uh, autograph, but it's not. It's Yusniel Diaz, 24 out of 199. All right, going in order. Later, James R. Tune in a little bit later for this Moxie Soda, man. Even though you already know what it's all about. All right. Scotty Z with Christian Stewart, Kevin Kramer, Taylor Trammell, numbered... 89 of 99 on the speckle. Pete Alonzo, rookie. Alex Kirilov. And the autograph is Victor, Victor Mesa, numbered 144 out of 150. A name so nice you had to say it twice. <laughs> I like that. There you go. There's your third pack, Scotty Z. Doing well so far, if I might say so myself. Let me put a sleeve on Taylor Trammell for you. I like these low-numbered speckle cards here. Those are fun. Yeah. All right, two packs left for Mr. Scotty Z. Raider Ralph on deck. Brian L. in the hole.
We got a couple new products releasing this week. Talking about 2019 Topps Archives coming out on Wednesday. So is 2019 Panini Chronicles Baseball coming out on Wednesday. We will be doing an Archives case break on Wednesday. It looks like the Panini Chronicles case break probably won't happen until maybe later in the week. Unless you guys help us sell it out. It's uh, The Chronicles is pick your team. So you get to pick the team you want, assuming someone else hasn't taken it already. But we still got a ton of teams left at the low price of only $29.99 a spot, free shipping. Like a ton. Like a, at least a dozen. Here's Pablo Martinez, Brady Singer. Uh, Noel V. Marte. Noel V. Noel V. Marte and Miguel Andahar. Bowman Sterling hit there. Hold on, I'm going to sleeve those. Garrett Hampson and the Colonel Perez right there. Let me get a quick sleeve on these. Noel V. That's pretty cool. That's a cool name. Interesting name. Looks like a young guy right there. I'm guessing he's probably no more than like 19 years old. Yep. Keep an eye out for this guy. Seattle Mariners organization. And then uh, we already know this guy pretty well. Miguel Andahar. Number 35 of 99. That's pretty cool. Rookie of the year last year, right? Uh, I believe that is uh, no. That's incorrect. That's yeah, incorrect. That was Otani and Acuna last year. Oh wasn't yeah. It? Okay, you're right. <clears throat> last pack for Scotty Z. Come on, show us some heat here. Show us some heat for our good man Scotty Z. Royce Lewis. Rowdy Telez. I do see some orange behind him. Let's see what else is behind it. Jesus Sanchez and Joe Adele. All right, let's see what's up. You think this one's the autograph? Yeah! Woo! <laughs> nice. There we go. There's a, wow. top, there's a top draft pick auto right there. On card, orange refractor, 45 of 75 of Alec Bohm. Back by Jazz Chisholm, base card. We'll put him to the side. But this is a nice way to end right here. He was a top draft pick. He was like number four or five, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was. Solid for sure. Scotty Z, when you watch this video later, I hope you like what you see, my man. Thanks again for jumping in. You got some nice cards. You got this one and you got the Luis Urias blue parallel. So that's a pretty good box, plus the other ones that you got in there too. So good stuff, man. Thanks, Scotty. I'm going to let Matt sit in right now for Raider Ralph, who may or may not be in here. He said he was starting work at, at 4, and he wanted us to do his break uh, about 4.15. So here it is, 4.23, Ralph. And, uh, well, hope you're watching now or later. Either way, Matt's going to do this box. He's also going to do some Panini Certified. Matt, are you ready? I'm ready. Say what's up to Card Shop Matt, everybody, as he oh. takes the hot seat. All right, here, walking in, ready to step in for my man Raider Ralph. And I like Ralph, because I too am a Raider fan. And there's nothing like the Raiders. But we're going to open some baseball right now for Raider Ralph. And uh, this moment's Sterling. Let's see what we can get out of this deal. Very excited to do this. Last, uh, The last box I opened, oh my gosh, was that fun. Got to see some cool Redemption Vlad Guerrero stuff. Really, really neat. Yeah. Yeah, someone got some Star Wars, baby. David BR picked up the slack with some Star Wars. Thanks, buddy. We'll be doing that in a little bit. Do we? Raider Ralph's not in the chat, though, I don't think. He uh, may not be. He may not be. So I was going to say, yeah, what pack are you starting with? But I'm going to start with the middle. Huh? Yeah. Uh, and if he is, he could tell me which pack he wants me to open next. Well, let's start with this one for Mr. Raider Ralph. What's up, Brandon? Brandon's in the house. What's up, Fletcher? Here goes nothing. Pack number one. Coming to you. Alex says Raiders 16-0. and 0. Wow. That would be an incredible regular season. I don't have my hopes that high, but would I? Uh, I would love to see that. All right, here goes nothing. 
Nolan Jones, Matthew Liberatore. Ooh, I like this guy. This guy's a nice draft pick. Nick Madrigal is our first auto, followed by a gold insert. I'll get to that in just a second. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Someone's going to flip out when they see who the next card is. Well, let's take a look at this Madrigal right here. Not bad. Chicago. This guy was a, is a hell of a prospect. And if I just go to the next one, Bubba Pug, you watching? Because I got a gold yellow in my hands right now. That's nice. What's that, that number? Uh, we're going to take a look at it. I'm just sleeving it because it's so flashy. When we turn it around, it's numbered out of 50. Nice. 17 out of 50 for Raider Ralph. There you go. From the very, very talented Mr. Kristen Yelich. What's Soup saying about the Chiefs? Uh, I don't Mott, know. Mott with the Chiefs? Or what does Mott mean? I don't know. Where are you looking? Maybe he's not talking to us. Soup's out of the blue and the blue there. Oh, okay. Mott with the Chiefs around. Oh, I think he meant not with the Chiefs around like the Raiders oh, are going to oh. go 16-0. and 0. Oh, so Cam Vett said Cam Newton will make preseason debut tonight. Are they playing each other, Chiefs and the Panthers? I think there is a Monday night game. I thought it was Broncos and somebody else, but oh. I can't remember. I don't watch preseason that much. That's what I get for butting into the middle of a conversation. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, Fletcher, my boy Nick Madrigal. Apparently they knew each other in a former life. Caleb wants to know your thoughts on the Chicago Bears. Uh, yeah. Uh, they're in Chicago. That's my thoughts on the mm. Bears. They're not here. They're not anybody I want to see. And they're uh, they're totally an NFC team. So Oy. we'll beat them in the playoffs, but not concerned about them. I don't think they're. I think uh, their quarterback's going to make a step up, but I don't think he's that talented. Thursday night football. Cam Newton. So who's Cam Newton playing against on Thursday night? That's the answer to the question that we're looking for right now, Cam. Ah. Uh. Who are they playing? Meanwhile, here's pack number two for Raider Ralph. Bubble Pug says, speaking of Yelich, he's on TV right now. Oh, boy. No, Bubble Pug loves her boy Yelich. Tatis. Bummer about him getting hurt, man. Keston Hura. I think the auto's right behind here. There's another Victor, Victor Mesa. Uh, the auto's stuck to Keston Hura. I yeah, I think you're right with a Hunter Green behind it. So we can slow play this guy right here. Chicago. Miguel Amaya. Miguel Amaya. I don't know much about him. Did you see the sticker from the front of the box? I did not. Party foul. Right there. Just grab the wrapper for me and hand it over. You got it. There you go. Yeah. Pack number three for Raider Ralph. I'm going to pull these out. I'm going to hand you this box. Put the cards in there. Pack number three. Chicago Cubs with Miguel Amaya was the last auto we just saw. Let's see what we get here. Alex says the Patriots are overrated. I think that every year, Alex. And then they continue to get to the, uh, the finals. So it just boggles my mind. I saw Joe Adele on the back. Okay. I see a little speckle in the middle. Panthers Patriots on Thursday. Ah. Uh, Rowdy Telez. Bryce Wilson followed by Ooh, an auto. Brandon. Brandon Marsh. Anaheim Angel. It's nice. That's speckle. Not too bad. Chaz Chisholm to follow, Jesus Sanchez, and Joe Adele round that pack out. But let's take a closer look at Brandon Marsh. Gives you a nice BM. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough about that. Enough, we'll stop talking right there. Brandon Marsh is his name. Yeah, it's just his initials. Yeah, it's just his initials. All right, moving on. Pack number four. Uh, Josh asks, what's your favorite product? I don't know. Um, I like a lot of products. I think I like more autographs and less commons. Uh, so I kind of lean towards the, you know, uh, signature stuff and the Bowman Sterling where I can get, I know I can get an auto out of every pack. Um, but there's a lot of good stuff out there. I do like Gypsy Queen a lot this year. 
I feel like they probably made the best product or, or made the best steps up this year as far as product, but uh, I tend to lean towards more bang for your buck as far as autos, as far as hits. Yusniel Diaz in pack number four. Nick Madrigal again. This was a numbered Adrian Morejon at a 199, and the auto's right going to be behind that. So I'll skip to the back. Kyber Ruiz, there's a Dodger. And Alec Bohm round out that pack, but let's get back to the good stuff. Let's slow play this auto right here. He says, I like chrome and archives. Wow, the signature comes to all the way to the edge of this card. Uh, looks like Tampa Bay, maybe? Oh, new, yeah, Justice Sheffield. Cool. Look at how big that auto is. That guy used the whole card to sign this thing. Justice Sheffield, refractor, 67 out of 150. He's now with Seattle. I think he was drafted by the Yankees, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But look at that. Nice big auto for you, Raider Ralph. Not too shabby. Last pack of the box. Pull some fire here, see what we can get. Maybe a little color. We saw a speckle out of it, which was cool. Sue posting the link if anybody's interested in getting on the brakes tonight. Oh, there's Raider Ralph. See, I'm here, guys, but so is my boss. Can't really chime in. <laughs> Raider Ralph, don't chime in. Work comes first. But I hope you're watching and get to sneak a peek anyway. This is the last pack in your box, buddy. Tristan McKenzie, followed by Mackenzie Gore. Tristan McKenzie Gore. Yeah. Royce Lewis, I'm sure the auto's right after that, so I'm going to skip past that. To Seth Beer, probably the man yeah. with the best name of all of, uh, in all of sports. <laughs> And if he doesn't land a commercial, like a sponsorship with Budweiser, I don't know what, I know, what he's going right? to do. Uh, Adonis Medina to round that out. We'll slow play this. His agent needs to get His on agent, that. yeah, definitely needs to start talking to somebody. All right. He's a Texas Ranger. Pitcher. Last name, Win Cole Wynn. What was the famous name? Cole Trickle. Cole Trickle. <laughs> I think that was Tom Cruise's play, uh, yeah. character in uh, Days of Thunder. I that's just, right. I just watched that movie for the first time like a month ago. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> Cold Trickle. Yeah. Not Cold Trickle, but Cole Wynn is going to round this uh, box out for Raider Ralph here. It's kind of a nice sound. This guy's got great penmanship. Seth Cold Beer. That's right, Alex. That's right. Seth Cold Beer. This is, his middle name is Cold. <laughs> Well, I want to thank Raider Ralph for letting us open that box. Thank you so much, man. I hope you got to see some of it. Uh, there's definitely some cool stuff popping in. Uh, but now I get to move on to Brian L., who got us, who wants us to open a box of certified form. 2019 certified. Moving on to football, which is definitely something I love because I love me some football. Isaac Isaac says, "Hola, HOFBC. Regards from Tijuana, Mexico." All right. What's... Hola, Isaac. Como estas, amigo? Hola, Isaac. Oh shoot! I almost forgot the tag. Here we go. And you know what? I did one thing. more solid. I could rip the tag. Just pull the tag off first, then rip the box open. Right, right. I'm gonna pull these packs out. This is Brian L. Brian, are you watching? Can you tell me who your favorite player is and we what got, team? We got to meet Brian L. Uh, he was in here on Saturday. Oh, he was? Yeah. Oh, cool. Nice young man. And he picked up a box of unparalleled football, I think, on Saturday. But uh, not sure if he's watching right now. I, he might be. Brian, if you're watching, chime in, buddy. Yeah. You can let us know your favorite player, favorite team, or let me know what pack to start with. I'll do that for you. But meanwhile, I'm going to start at the top. Certified, two autographs, two memorabilia cards per box. A lot of good stuff. Hoping to see some. some Brian's hot here. He says, I'm okay, but at work. Oh, right. Brian, you got to do your business. A couple guys still at work today. It's almost quitting time, right? Yes, it is. Almost. Hope this will help the last half hour of your workday go better. Yep. Starting off with a Joey Bosa. 
Josh Allen. I think I saw another Josh Allen in the back of this. Darius Geis. This one, no, I don't see a number, just different color. Aaron Rodgers numbered. This one out of 450. And there he is again, Josh Allen Diamonds. It's blue, no number on it. But this Aaron Rodgers. That one's numbered. You gonna see that? A little foil on it. Out of 450. Get the sleeve on that for you. Cool. Cool. Pack number two coming at you, Brian. <laughs> Boom Rodgers. Yeah. Bubble Pug, what are your thoughts about Aaron Rodgers? I know you're in Wisconsin. Is he as cool as Yelich or not quite? Jarvis Landry, Matt Ryan, I turn this over, Tyler Lockett. Here's a numbered Ed Reed. This guy was a hell of a safety. Ed Reed, 399, numbered uh, 15 out of 399. And I see a gold Staubach. Not too bad. Got this numbered Ed Reed and a gold Staubach. Next one. He's not as cool as Yelich, Bubble Pug says. Yelich is too cool. Well, you know where her allegiances lie. No secret there. All right, thick card in this one. We definitely got a hit here, Brian L. If you're watching, Deshaun Jackson, A.J. Green, Kirk Cousins, fall with the rear, raise the banner, Troy Aikman. He's a Bruin. And if I go to the back, we go, uh, ooh, the tight end, Patch Otto, Noah Fant. This guy was, uh, I think, the second tight end taken in the draft behind, um, I can't even remember the guy's name, but this guy's pretty solid. I know they both went to Iowa. So take a good look at this Noah. Nice patch card in this. You see the nice black, white border with the orange in it. He's a Bronco. Pretty cool. Numbered out of 199. So, Brian L., there's your first hit. And it's by a pretty good tight end. Not too shabby. I'll turn this over for you. Oh, okay. Joshua Ferguson says, is he good? Well, he was drafted like he was good. You know, he's drafted like he was good. We'll see how it ends up, but supposedly he's got some talent. He wasn't the first tight end off the board in the draft this year, but I think he was the second. T.Y. Hilton starts off the next pack. Mike Evans, Keenan Allen, Christian Wilkins. This one's uh, rookie numbered out of 399. Baker Mayfield. A lot of people speculating that he's going to have a hell of a year. He's got a good offense. He's got a lot of talent around him. I don't know. We'll see. And then another kid's guard. All right. Next pack. I see Mahomes on the back of this one. Talk about talent. That guy turned out to be a hell of a player. Julian Edelman just got, just got off the uh, PUP list, so he's back in camp. Adrian Peterson, backing up Darius Geis. Odell Beckham Jr., the new favorite receiver of favorite, uh, Baker Mayfield. I got a hit here. There's your Pat Mahomes. And if I turn it over, oh boy, LaMarcus Joyner with the Rams. Yeah, LaMarcus Joyner, I think, is a defensive player with the Rams. This one is numbered out of 80, 32 out of 80. So, Brian, if you're an L.A. fan, you got to be thrilled about this one. LaMarcus Joyner, hell of a player. Uh, what does it say about it? It doesn't really say a whole lot in the back. Just his date of birth and height. So this nice auto right there from our local team. Next pack. Can we confirm that, Bubble Pug? Yelich and Baker Mayfield are friends. Huh. I mean, is it a like brothers in sports, or they they hang out on the weekends. All right, Travis Kelsey, best probably tight end in the game right now. 
Doug Baldwin, not in the league anymore, I don't think. Carson Wentz, my quarterback for fantasy football. Joe Mixon. And there's a Matt Ryan gold team. Cutting through this box. Gronk on the back of this one. Devontae Adams leading it off. He's a high fantasy pick. Marlon Mack, Jameis Winston, and here's something orange. Oh, it's a numbered Matty Ice Ryan right there. 11 out of 199. I'm going to sleeve this one. Nice looking card. Yeah. Ooh, and it's uh, Gronk to round it out. No, he's retired this year, but he was probably one of the best Titans ever play. How many years did he play in the league? Ah, I think he was drafted in 2010. He didn't play very long. Eight, nine years. Is yeah. Pretty, long, pretty long time. For a tight now, end, right? that's wild. I mean, it's, you know. Uh, the he should have gone more. I'm yeah. surprised he, he uh, quit with uh, Brady going on, you know. Ah, he was getting beat up a little bit. Yeah. He was having some health issues, so he had to, He said, forget it, I'm going to split. Bubble Pug confirms they hang out every once in a while. He was the first base coach for a spring training game for the Brewers, and they went to the Bucks game together. So I think they're friends. Mm. All right. Who knows? Maybe they're lovers. Maybe. We don't want to start rumors here. Maybe they're enemies. Yeah. Maybe they're just together for a business proposition. Could be. Could have filmed a commercial. <laughs> Melvin Gordon still holding out. Sony Michelle, Case Keenum with a hit to follow, and I got Luke Keekley. Seal of approval at the back, but if I go back to this hit and try to slow play it, I'm going to turn it over. And there we go. Tyler Boyd patch is a superb patch. Nice full black patch there. Say almost jumbo. Not a lot of information on there, but Taj, uh, Tyler Boyd set to have a good year with the Bengals this year. Real quick, Ivan. Ivan Arroyo, what's up, Ivan, with a $10, hey. $10 super chat. He says, greetings from Nolens. Yeah, what's up, man? What's up? Are you having some good gumbo out there for us? Maybe listen to some good jazz? I don't know, you know? Greetings from Nolens. That's a wonderful, wonderful town. Wonderful town. Love one that. The, one of these days, I'd like to go to Nolens, but... Uh, some beignets, bro. Some oh. beignets. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, what's up out there? What it is, Ivan. Thanks for the super chat, buddy. Looking forward to the game on Thursday. Oh, Russell Wilson followed by Emmanuel Hall, rookie, numbered out of 199. He's with yeah. the Bears. A lot of great food, he says. I bet, buddy. I there he is. Bet. A lot of great music, a lot of great food. Great people. Great people. I mean, behind great music and great food is great people, yeah. obviously. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Last pack of the box for Brian L. Sterling Shepard, Andy Dalton, an upside down card, which is Jameson Crowder, and then we got Andrew Luck, seal of approval. Real quick, there's still time to uh, jump in for personal breaks. Uh, I've seen a couple people asking. We just dropped a link into our group chat right now. Click that link and then choose any product on those four pages that say the words personal break in the title. You order that right now, we'll uh, set you up in the lineup. Oh, we got two autos. Okay. Supposed to be four hits. Did you get four hits? I got three. Oh, I'm going to go back and make we're sure gonna, we didn't We're going to double check them and make sure we didn't look at them. I'm going to review. I got it shorted. Tyler Boyd, Jersey. LaMarcus Joyner, auto. And then I think we let it off with this Noah Fant, patch auto, which was kind of like the coolest hit of the box. It was a nice big patch. So, Brian, now we're going right back through to see if we skipped one. But I don't think so. It would have been a patch. Oh, we did get two patches and two autos, right. technically, I guess. But where's the other patch? Or where's the other auto? Oh, no. There's supposed to be two autographs and two memorabilia cards, but they always say on average. Right. They always say that. Hmm. They say the words on average because, like we were talking about earlier... The, the anomalies that can arise when we have uh, machines creating our, our products, sometimes things don't happen exactly. So Panini especially started using the term on average with all of their boxes. And that basically lets them off the hook just in case we don't get extra hits 
or sometimes we get more hits. Nobody's ever getting pissed about getting more hits, though. No. But it no. seems in this box we got we got uh, only three hits, so the average was low for this box, unfortunately. But uh, Brian L, hope you uh, hope you enjoyed what you did see. There are some nice autographs again. Yeah. Also, that red one is pretty sick. This one <laughs> is definitely the best. The Noah Fant out of 199 auto patch with a giant orange patch and white and black trim. Definitely the, the hit of the game. And we also got LaMarcus Joyner, who's a hell of a player, and a Tyler Boyd patch. So. You want me to give you a break here real sure. quick? Sure. Yeah, I'm going to give you a break. I'm going to get back in the hot seat for this next box coming up right here. First off, I'm going to shout out Bailey Baseball. Thanks for the $5 super chat. Bailey says, Eric, what, in your opinion, is the best baseball product of 2019? Greetings from Alabama. Well, greetings from Arcadia. Hope all's well out there in Bama. Best baseball product of 2019? Uh, so far, Topps Chrome. <clears throat> so far. Now batting. Though we've been uh, selling a lot of Inception, a lot of people like Topps Inception too, but best baseball product, Topps Chrome. It's always a solid one. Now batting, Richard Martinez with another box of certified football. Richard, hope you're out there. Uh, on deck, Michael H. with some Inception and some Archive Signature, followed by David B.R. who's in the hole with Star Wars Chrome, and then James M. with Elements. And then we got a couple more boxes on deck after them. Both Michael H. again. So we still got time. If you guys want us to uh, open a box for you tonight, get those orders in now. Click that link that we just dropped. Ivan. Ivan, thanks again, buddy. He says, hey, guys, Josh, Cam, Shane, Alex, everyone. Hi. Sorry, can't stay and chat. It's my fiance's birthday. Everyone have a great break. Good luck. Well, thank you, Ivan, and uh, happy birthday, Roseanne. If you're right there watching, hi, Roseanne. Happy birthday. We will see you guys on Thursday, and we're looking forward to it. Thanks, guys. You guys have fun out there. Go see some good music for us. What a trip. New Orleans birthday? That sounds cool. That sounds like a good idea, man. Is that where you're going to take me for my birthday? I would be happy to take you <laughs> to New Orleans. Yeah. All right, Richard Martinez, if you're in here, this box for you, buddy. Even if you're not in here, this box is still for you. I don't see Richard popping in right now, so I'm just going to get going on these packs for you, Richard. If you pop in and you want to pick some packs for me to open, pick some numbers. One through nine at this point. Pick a number one through nine, Richard, or pick a couple numbers in a row, and I'll open up those packs. Here's TJ Watt, Christian McCaffrey, Philip Lindsay, number 17 out of 50, Sterling Shepard right there. Nice looking card. And uh, Mike Evans, Buccaneers, Diamonds card there. Oops, let me get a sleeve on this before I mess something up. It's not too far away. All right, he said seven. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll start with that one. If you want another one after that, pick another number, one through eight, Rich. Here we go. 2019 certified football. Don't let our name fool you, folks. We are called the Hall of Fame baseball cards, but we do carry football cards and basketball cards and hockey cards. Pokemon cards, Calvin Ridley, Corey Davis. We got a hit behind Davis. We also got Randy Moss and the hit. Ooh, how about a D.D. Westbrook right here? Sick little patch. Two, three, that's like a four break patch right there. Number 46 out of 50. Nice. Jacksonville Jaguars. Richard, I forget uh, which team you like. Uh... Gosh, I'm totally blanking out. Richard, what's your football team? I'm forgetting right now. I know you like Red Sox for the baseball. Hmm. So is he like New England? Are you a Patriots fan? I don't think so. I don't remember. Broncos, that's what it is. Okay, yeah, you type Broncos. 
<clears throat> he said seven. He said five. One, two, three, four, five was next. So let's see what's in pack five. Mari Cooper. <clears throat> Upside down cards. Let's flip these right side up. Adam Thielen. Tiffany Amber Thielen? No. <laughs> Jalen Ramsey. <laughs> I stretch too far sometimes uh, for comedy. David Johnson. Uh, Jared Goff, gold team, quarterback card. That's nice. Going to keep on going here. Rusty's 95 says, hey, card shop. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Shane B. With the $2 super chat. He says, just bought. Need some hot hands, HOF. Shane B. All right, we're looking forward to ripping something for you, Shane B. As, as soon as that order gets processed, you'll be up on deck here. Van Der Esch, Lamar Jackson. We've got Derek Henry out of 199. Just leave that in just a second. And then Brett Favre, gold team. Favre. What about Brett Favre? Ah, <laughs> oh, these packs. Give me a second. I'll get it. I'll get it. It's true that Panini packs are uh, harder to open than uh, most other uh, card producers' packs. Marcus Mariota here. We got uh, Fitzgerald. We've got Tyrell Williams. We got a hit behind him. Feels thick, too. We got uh, Julio Jones there. Diamonds card. And then the hit behind Williams here. Oh. Ooh. How, about, how do you feel about the Redskins, uh, Richard? How do you about feel about Freshman Fabric? Bryce Love. What's up, baby? My name Bryce Love. <laughs> Just call me Mr. Love. Man, the things he could say yeah, if he had a last name like Love. Dr. Love, if he becomes a doctor at some point. He's Dr. Love. He could probably already call himself the Love Doctor. Bryce Love right there. That's a nice looking card. Sick jumbo patch with an autograph numbered out of three ninety nine for the Skins. My great uncle used to play for the Skins. No joke. Really? Yeah. What position was he? He played, spent some time as kicker, I think, early on with the Skins, but he also was QB for some teams, like during the World War World War era. Ah. Uh, the, the Eagles, the Steelers, the Steagles, the when Steagles. Dur during the wartime era, when the two teams had to merge because a lot of their players got called to war. Ah. And he uh, stepped up, and he, I think he was uh, QB for the Steagles for a bit. He's a two-time All-Pro, one-time Super Bowl champ. All right. Yeah. Not bad, right? That's cool. Devontae Parker. By the way, Richard says he likes that card, the Redskins card. Here's Anthony Miller. Juju Smith. Uh, Chase Winovich. Out of 299. And record breakers. Eric Dickerson. E Dick. I used to love Eric Dickerson when I was a kid, man. That's a cool looking card. I like the gold and blue with the blue. Blue and gold uh, edges, gold and blue uniform, blue and gold edges, all of that. Nice looking card. I'd love to see an autograph of his. Who was your favorite player growing up? Well, it was definitely Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson. Bo was everything. How about Richard Martinez? Who was your favorite player growing up? Did you have a favorite one growing up? Back in the day, Cam Newton here. Got a great last name. Imagine the things you could do with that last name. Anything from you can run a card shop. Anything from that. running a card shop to, to being quarterback in the NFL to pff, discovering gravity to being a cookie. I mean, hey, <laughs> <laughs> Joe Flacco, uh, Cooper Cup. Uh, we got JJ yeah. uh, Watt, diamonds. JJ, and Watt. then <laughs> that's funny, Richard Martinez. You said that name. Here's Keith Brooking, by the way, as I pull this, but I'm commenting on Richard's comment. I asked him who his favorite player was growing up, and YouTube hid that comment because I'm going to show it. Here it is right here. Yes, they did. <laughs> it's not his fault he was 
is somebody turned his name into a foul word? It's is definitely it? not his fault. Oh. No. Dick Butkus was a great player. Dick Butkus was a great player. Absolutely. Yeah. Worthy of being uh, every child's favorite back in the day. This this card in front of us numbered uh, 10 of 75. Keith Brooking with the Falcons. So you got that. You should have one more hit if the average is right on point this time. Antonio Brown, how's his feet doing? His feet are better. He just came back to practice today. Okay, he was having some helmet issues too or something? Yeah, he was disputing what kind of helmet he had to wear. Okay, how'd that work out? Not in his favor. Okay. Kenton Drake, uh, Tariq Cohen, we got Raise the Banner, LT. Ooh. And I think there's an autograph back here. Whoop, if there is, it's Derrick Henry, but it's not. It's just a numbered card. Out of 450. Get a little sleeve on it. Two packs left, Richard. One of them's thick. It could be a decoy. Which one do you want? The one in my right hand or the one in my left? You pick while I take a sip of water. Is that my water? Uh, if it was, I was drinking it. Ah, thank you. Is this my backup? Or I leave it back up? All right. He says right. He wants the thickness. Let's give him the thickness. Check him with the thickness just to let him know. Leonard Fournette. Josh Rosen. Rosen, Rosen. You know, you know where I was going with that? No. no? Derek Carr. That's from... Uh, Air? No, no, from uh, Chevy Chase. in. Uh, no, the other one. Where he plays all the characters. Oh, he's the doctor. Yes, yes. Doctor Rosen. Yeah. Rosen, Rosen, Rosen. <laughs> Fletch. Fletch. Patrick Mahomes, the second seal of approval, and behind Mr. Carr we have Drew Locke. Ooh. Denver Broncos. There you go, Richard. Yeah. What do you know about Drew Locke, Richard? Uh, this card's numbered out of one ninety nine. It's a Large orange swatch. It looks like it came off of a yeah. city worker's jacket or something like that. But allegedly, this did come from Drew Rock, Drew Locke, who plays for the Broncos. What do you know about Drew Locke, Richard? Teach us. It's a nice looking card. You got a Bronco, which is cool. Uh, card shop Yam and I got to meet Drew Locke. Oh yeah, was he at the uh, Panini rookie premiere? He was. Yeah, very nice guy. That's cool. Very cool. Did he talk about collecting at all? So, Richard, you had, uh, real quick, you had Drew Locke. You had uh, Keith Brookling, or Brooking, excuse me. Keith Brooking. You had the sick freshman fabric from uh, Bryce Love. That's great. That's a nice-looking card. And then start off with uh, Dee Dee Westbrook. A little four-color patch. Mm, Richard says, I love it. Time will tell with him. He has a gun for an arm. Okay. Well, thanks, Richard, for jumping in. Oh, we actually got one more pack than I almost left on the table for you. Let's see what's in this last pack. TG. Nick Chubb. Stefan Diggs. And uh, Greedy Williams. That's another name. Joe Namath raised the banner. Greedy. Now, I got to feel... I mean, I got to say that, you know, as a parent, if you name your child Greedy... Uh, where's your headspace when you're thinking about that name? That's that's just a question I want to ask. Where's your headspace? You know, I mean, greedy is not, you know, it's kind of a negative, you know, you don't want to think of your, per you know, as being, a, no one wants to be thought of as a greedy person. I don't think any parent would want to teach their kids to be a greedy person, right? No, I, don't, I wouldn't think so. I would like to know the uh, the origin of that name if I ever met uh, him or his his folks have probably asked. Now, where did that name come from? Well, he is a DB, and I think if you get a lot of interceptions, maybe you are greedy. Well, maybe that's right. Maybe yeah. that's why. Maybe they just want him to be uh, to get all the get all the uh, football passes. Yeah. Be greedy on the field, but not greedy off. Be greedy to quarterbacks. <clears throat> all right. Up next, now batting Michael H with a box of Inception and a box of Archive Signature Series on deck. We have David Br with Star Wars, followed by James M. And Michael H. again. Uh, Shane B.'s box came around the back here, too. 
Shane B got a box of Topps Chrome Hobby, so we'll be doing that in a little bit as well. Put that box back there for Shane Beasel. There we go. Right now, Michael H. Is this Michael F. H. Yama? Yes, it is. Michael F. H. <clears throat> I wonder if he's watching right now. I'm looking for you, Michael H. Box of Inception, just for you, buddy. I'm not sure. I don't see you chiming in here. There he is. There he is. All right, here you go, buddy. Here you go. Let's see what's in your box of Inception. I don't see anything too thick in the middle, which leads me to believe it's probably not an autographed relic. If you don't mind opening that up, that would be wonderful. Here's Chris Davis on the front. Jacob DeGrom. Bryce Wilson. Chris Shaw. The autograph should be behind Chris Shaw, which is cool because it is color. We do have Chris Davis Green. Charlie Blackman out of 99 there. I'll sleeve that in a minute. And the autograph is. I can't catcher. tell. It looks like a catcher. Backwards helmet. A name I've never heard of yet all season long, I don't believe. Isaiah Kiner Falefa? I've seen an auto. <laughs> I actually have an auto of his Tops 83 retro card. Interesting. He's a Texas catcher. Interesting. Yeah, it does say Texas Rangers down on there. Um, Texas Rangers catcher. This doesn't say RC, so it's not looking like a rookie. I've never heard of him. Is he like a starting catcher or what? I don't know. It's funny, people are surprised how little I know about baseball in general. I mean, I know a lot about baseball, but as far as, like, trivia or just knowing, like, all the players on every team, I don't know a lot about that. I just don't, uh, got so much going on. I didn't know cards. You want to ask me about cards? I'll tell you about cards. Cam Vett says that dude is good. So, hey. Hey, if Cam, somebody... Vett, if Cam Vett says it, it's got to be true. Maybe not. Maybe. One of these days, Cam Vet, I want you to show your face at the shop to prove you're a real person. I don't believe it quite yet. By the way, Garrett Hampson coming out of your box of archives, Michael H. Ooh, it's a bone. 16 out of 90 right there. 16 out of 90, Garrett Hampson, Bowman Top 100. Uh, this is from 2017, Bowman Chrome. And uh, Michael H., you got a couple more boxes coming up in just a moment. Thanks for uh, uh, letting us rip these for you. These will be in the mail ASAP. Uh, now batting. And I'm loving this right now. I'm loving this. David B.R. coming in hot with what we wanted to see, and some Topps Chrome Star Wars Chrome Legacy. I'm excited about this. Mixing it up a little bit here today. Mixing it up. Matt, you just opened some of this on uh, Saturday. I And I love it. I think it's great. I, one of these, I can't wait to see it. Just a crazy auto from our Star Wars favorites. Like It's going to be awesome. David B.R., are you still watching up in here? I wonder if he's still watching right now. This is going to be fun. I, I mean, uh, is, is there anybody in here that's not a Star Wars fan for some reason? Most people are, and most people, you know, rightly so. It's it's arguably one of the best film franchises in history. There he is right there. David B.R. wants an R2-D2 auto. All right, which box do you want me to start with, buddy? Left or right? You call it. <clears throat> People want a Chewbacca auto. We want a, an R2-D2 auto. Somebody wants an Ewok auto. Uh, I'd love to see a Han Solo auto. Uh, you know, how about, uh, you know, even any of these people? I'm not sure if there's any Carrie Fisher. It would probably be stuff that she signed back in the day, which probably they wouldn't have done that because these wouldn't have been made. And I don't think there's cut signatures. So probably no Carrie Fisher autos, but definitely some Daisy Ridley auto chances. And... Uh, McGregor. Ewan McGregor. Uh, 
I'm not seeing anything from David BR. Oh, there he is, finally left. All right, we must be on a little bit of a delay for some people. One hit per mini box here, folks. It's got a similar configuration to like your Topps Finest or your Bowman Chrome Hobby. Check out these cards, everybody. They're really nice looking, in my opinion. Nice. Dinner with Vader on the Chrome right there. Funny, but Vader's not in that picture. But we all know the scene. Ambassadors of the Republic right here. Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan. Mm -hmm. We got... Ooh, ooh! This could be one of your hits. I think sketch cards are part of the deal. I think that was the guy who got his arm chopped off in the yes, first one. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what does he say? Uh, <laughs> I don't like you either. I don't like you either. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put this down with the rest of this. Yes, oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Autograph sketch card. Nice. You have discovered a Star Wars Chrome Legacy sketch card featuring characters and scenes from Star Wars. Autographed by Brad Hudson, who is the artist. And this is great, man. That is a sketch card right there. That looks OG, too. That's legit. That's a sweet little pull, David. You should be stoked with that. Yeah, he's wanted on 12 systems. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. Nice little, nice little hit. We also are seeing the end of General Grievous. That's a cool shot right there. I remember that scene. That was a scary-looking character. Yeah, he was terrifying. And then, uh, here we go. Star Killer Super Beam right there. Chewie and Han back together again. All right, let's see what's else in the Star Wars Chrome Legacy. Good stuff. Somebody wants to see a Jabba the Hutt auto. Somebody wants to see James Earl Jones. Look at this card, Frozen Wasteland. I think this is probably my favorite Star Wars movie of all time. Without a doubt. Empire Strikes Back, baby. When this movie came out, I wanted, like, all the figurines. I got, you know, somehow, for some reason, my parents were kind enough to buy me some of these figurines, and I got the Tauntaun. That you could have the, it had the little belly. Yeah, you, you could, could take stuff. Yeah. You could put Luke up in the belly. Yeah. That's a cool card. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> right there. The evil man himself, Darth Vader. Ooh, Ooh. a little island exercise. Numbered. A little green parallel refractor. 26 out of 50 right there. You pulled some nice refractors. Yeah. You pulled some nice refractors the other day. I'm going to sleeve that in a second. We're going to look at Anakin's victory. And uh, Bounty Hunter lineup right there. That's cool. Yeah. I remember that guy on the left. He had a cool figurine back in the day. And then uh, what was his name? Uh, the Bounty Hunter on the Boba right. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. That's right. So here you go. Here's some green parallel. Daisy Ridley right there. The last Jedi. That's cool. <sighs> that okay, let's 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 talk about this. We all are seeing Star Wars cards right now and I mentioned that Empire Strikes Back is my favorite Star Wars movie. But how about you guys if you're watching right now? What's which movie is your favorite Star Wars movie? <clears throat> Here's the true, true queen revealed. Here's I know. That's after Leia says I love you, and he right. says I know. What a what a just huge respect for Han Solo there. Oh, and here's introducing Han Solo. Itu Ichuga o Solo. What does he say? Ichuta Solo. Yeah, so but with, Greedo. With, with Greedo, right? Isn't that the scene? Mm-hmm. Here's Jedi Rescue. So we got a lot of people saying Empire Strikes Back is their favorite Star Wars movie. There's a Return of the Colin Jedi. Colin says Return of the Jedi. That's a solid choice. I love the first half of Return of the Jedi. I just uh, kind of get lost with all the cutesy Ewok stuff a little bit. But I love how Luke comes in wearing all black at the beginning of that movie. Here's another poster, poster. card right here. These are sick. I found a green parallel poster card on my live pack preview we did. Let's see, more and more Empire fans. Ryan N. claims to have never seen a Star Wars movie before. Uh, it's only your loss, buddy. Are you a real person? <laughs> uh, more Return of the Jedi and Empire Strikes Back. Cam Vett's got to leave. See you, buddy. 
I like Nico's things. response right here. Yeah? He says Rogue One, because I think that movie deserves a lot of props. Nico likes Rogue One. That wasn't an official Star Wars movie, right? Oh, it was a prequel. Was that? Which yeah. one? It was the story of how they obtained the plans to the right. Death Star. Right, but I don't think it was an official Star Wars movie, was it? Oh, I guess you could qualify that movie. Yeah, we'll count it. That's fine. It's Star Wars related, I guess, if that's your favorite. That's cool. But that one plus uh, the the hot the solo movie that wasn't an official Star Wars movie. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm talking episodes, you know, one through six. Okay. Maybe seven, maybe eight. Luke Skywalker steps in. There he is from Return of the Jedi, in the all black. I love that. Ooh. Uh, Kyle Kyle likes Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, that's a good one, man. That's a good one. Concept art card here. That's pretty neat. Followed by Into the Asteroid Field. That's one of the greatest scenes right there ever. And we got a green. Ooh, Ooh. 27 out of 50. Look at that. That's like a concept card as well or something. Look at that. It's like standing behind the Mask of Darth back there. Revenge of the Sith teaser. Collect all 25 poster cards. That's a nice one right here. 27 out of 50. I don't think this one was numbered, but it's cool. Concept art card. Um, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Graham Jim likes the original Star Wars. That would be episode four. Chancellor goes supreme. We've got... Ooh, somebody wielding the, uh, looks like Darth Vader wielding the lightsaber, downward thrusting there. We've got, ooh, a little blue parallel. Look at that. Briefing on Home 1. Look at that. All the characters there for the briefing. That's a nice looking car. That's numbered up in the upper right corner out of 99. 26 out of 99. Tango's in the house. He says, use the force and pull some heat. I'm trying, buddy. I'm trying. Here's a Obi-Wan captured and a uh, Luke's revelation. Oh, that's when he finds out that Leia's his sister. That was a awkward moment for everybody involved. <laughs> Isaac says, I saw Star Wars in Tijuana's Cinema Gemelos, Gemelos in the 80s. That's pretty awesome. What does Gamelo stand for? No clue. I'd have to look that up. Can you? Uh, yeah. Uh, Isaac, can you translate that that second word, Gamelos, for me, or soup even? Uh, my uh, Spanish is not that on point these days. Cinema Gamelos, twins. That's what it means. Okay. Twin cinemas. Here's Yoda. Yoda's shocking power right here. Here's, wow, that's crazy. The execution of Count Dooku. That guy was an evil person right there. These cards are fun, man. Ray at home. These cards are a lot of fun. All right, David BR. We found your hit in that very first pack. But now we're going to go through some of these other ones here. And then, uh, let's see what's up. Where should I start here, David BR? Wow. I'm going to put that one to the side. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, or five. One, two, three, four, or five. I'm, putting, I'm, I'm saving this one for last because that's very thick and there's obviously something in there. So I'm, I'm going to start with some regular packs. And we're going to save that thick one for last. Hopefully that's okay. Because I want it to be something cool. Here's Meeting in Secret. A lot of the photos on these cards are cool. A fantastic fight. It only has two movie theaters. That's why Gemelos. Okay, okay, two theaters. Is that theater still around? I wonder. If it was back in the 80s, there's a good chance it may not be around anymore. My favorite movie theater from the 80s is no longer around. Actually, none of them are around. The ones in Rancho? Yeah. Yeah. Hastings Ranch, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. 
None of those are none of those are there. The old movie theater at the mall is no longer there. They have one now. It's a new one though. Uh, where else were we seeing movies? I don't know. Temple City is gone, yeah, right? That yeah. theater's gone. Matt Edwards. All the drive-ins are gone. <laughs> I saw the first Batman there. So there was not much in pack two. Here's uh, Princess Leia here. This pack. Battle over Coruscant right there. It's a nice little movie poster shot there. That's pretty sick, actually. Some TIE Fighters with the Death Star in the background. Ooh, here's a uh, Hope Lives on Tatooine. And then here's a, a cool little uh, blue parallel right here. Finn and Rose. Ah, yes, I remember this scene. 36 out of 99. A little blue parallel. So a decent number of parallels showing up in these boxes so far, which is cool. If you like tops, if you like chrome, and if you like Star Wars, jump on some of this tops chrome Star Wars legacy stuff. It's really collectible and a lot of fun. Darth Vader unmasked. This was a huge scene for me. Remember that scene when you first saw it? Yeah. And you're like, that's not exactly what I pictured him to look like, nor sound like. No. <laughs> the mask really hid a lot of his features. But that was kind of a creepy scene. Ooh, what's this? Neat. Concept art card right here. Wow. That's, Jabba guard. That's definitely cool. Wow, hold on a second. Yeah, all right. Gamorrean Guard from Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Yeah, it's a nice looking card. We also got Jabba the Hutt. Not signed, but it is number 12 out of 25. I used to have one of the Jabba the Hutt figurines as well. It was a weird little rubbery little figurine. I don't know if you remember that one, but... I think it did it come in the whole, his whole setting, like him sitting on that thing, like setting sold separately. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you seen that video where they made it sound like Vader was playing the harmonica? No, I have not, Soup. <laughs> I would love. Why don't you send that to me somewhere? I'd love to see that. Is he any good? I can't imagine with the whole mask and everything. Maybe he is, because his mask kind of looked like a harmonica, could right? Be, could be solid. Could be solid. Could be a hell of a blues harmonica. Yeah, right har there. Just, just hot on the harp. Yeah. Vader. Alone on Naboo. Oh, you know what happens after that. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. Nine months later, there's another movie. <laughs> Sk <laughs> Sequel. Sk skiff battle. <laughs> Uh, we got another movie poster card there. That's pretty neat. Poe Dameron cover art there. Then we got uh, R2-D2 kidnapped by the Jawas. Me, me, me. And we've got uh, Luke Skywalker's Hesitance. Ah, okay. Hesitance to show himself? Is that what it Hesitance was? Hesitance to train her. To train her? Yeah. He refused initially. Uh, the Yoda Seagull's bad lip reading video is hilarious. I like some of those bad lip reading videos. Those are funny. Here's the Senate Chamber. Two packs left in here, David, by the way. Uh, Duel of the Fates. This is one of your two. There's a blue card behind hit. I'm actually going to save it. The Wedding of a Anakin and Padme. See? See? Uh, Rebels United. That's a cool card right there. Rebels United. And the parallel. Ooh. Visions from Tatooine. Yeah, she was looking good in that scene right there. The curly, uh, curly locks right there. Number three out of 99. I'm blanking on the actress's name, though. V is for Vendetta. <laughs> well, she's massive. I just can't think of it right now. Yeah. Um, cool card, though. One pack left for you, David, and it should have a hit because look at the thickness on that thing. It's probably a uh, commemorative medallion. That's my guess. 
Well, that's funny. That's who you had on the front of your commemorative medallion, wasn't it? A Han Solo yeah, it was uh, a base card on the front of yours? That's true, with a Han Solo medallion card. All right, look at how thick this card is, though, below it. Let's see what it is. Three, two, one. Oh, and Ooh, it is Princess Leia. Leia. Princess Leia Organa, numbered 70 of 99. Little commemorative medallion with... Who can name me that character that's on the right side? Who is that? First person in that character wins two points. Two fake points. I know somebody knows it. I'm going to try to sleeve this card, though I think it's too thick for most of these penny sleeves, unless... Nope, I got it. I got it. Uh, Master Rebuilder is correct. C3PO. Well, everybody's getting it right. That's all right. You guys know some of your Star Wars characters. That's always good. So your two hits. And thanks, David. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed checking out these cards. I hope everyone else had fun checking out these Star Wars cards right now. He got this cool medallion card out of 99. And he got one of the original uh, artist-signed sketch cards. Signed by Brad Hudson, the artist who sketched this actual card right here. Um, that's pretty sick. Great box. You guys pick up some Star Wars Chrome if you have the chance. It's really fun. It's a fun little break. Uh, now batting, James M. with some more football. Elements football. Uh, on deck, Michael H. In the hole is Shane B. And then Soup. Hey, Soup got a little pack of Bowman Sterling right there. That's cool. Right on. Uh, we can, Matt's going to get in the hot seat right now. Uh, I'm going to post the link right now to our breaks page. If anyone else wants to jump in and help us uh, end this episode nicely, you're welcome to do that. Click that link and pick any product that says personal break in the title, and we'll open that for you right now. Matty, you want to do some more football for Let's us? Let's do it. All right, James M., are you up in here? Say what's up to Car Shop Matt. All right, James. Oh, let's see what you got today is Elements Football. And if you look at the front, two autographs and one memorabilia card per box. Adorning the front, of course, is Kyler Murray, number one draft pick this season. We get, we get lucky. Did you get to meet him? We'll get to see him. He was not a... Oh, yeah, we did get to meet yeah. him. He yeah. was there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And then somebody asked him a baseball question. He was like, come on, bro. <laughs> oh, all right, James. Are you in the chat, buddy? If you are, holler at me. Let me know who your favorite team or your favorite player is. Holla! James Ann. All uh, right. Let's see. Best practices when opening elements start here. Did you take the sticker off? I did. And you can see it just comes in a little pack like this. That's the first elements we've seen, I think. Yeah, right? we haven't gotten to do a break with it on Mondays. Not yet. And it's one pack inside. It's a cool little black pack. And it's going to be like all hits. So check this out. Don't turn away. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to open it from the back. I saw something pretty cool back there. Let's... How many hits? Two autos and one relic on average? Yep. All righty. Where do I start? Okay, I'm going to start this one. I like the inside Damn. of the box. That's pretty dope. Uh, so check this out. These are like totally tin. Wow. Oh, they're, that's right. I forgot. They're metal. Set, set, set these down flat. Okay. So that you're not giving away what's coming up next and just pull them up and show them off. So if you look here, I mean, this thing is like a paperweight. It's it's pretty thick and heavy, and this first hit is Akeem Butler, rookie with Arizona Cardinals. But you can actually feel the density in here. I don't know if you guys have opened any elements before, but that's pretty neat. It should fit in a regular slip here. There you go, Hakeem Butler. I don't see a number on it, but still nice. James M up in here right now. Next up, really neat. I hope James is a Steelers fan, because check this out. That's a cool looking Look, card. This is a way cool looking card. This is even numbered six out of 50, Benny Snell Jr. 
with a Steelers. So you got the cool Steelers logo right behind it. And he put B. Snell right up in front. That's, that's pretty kind cool. of like signed, like angle it so we can see that signed like on top of a piece of uh, of uh, acetate that's floating above the card a little bit, right? Yeah. It kind of gives it like a 3D feel. Maybe you can see it like right there. That's killer. Nice one out of 50. Rookie neon signs. Mm hmm. Very cool. Very, very cool. Oops. Fumble. I think I grabbed the thick one. There we go. One more look at that. Not too shabby. Next up, a radioactive rookie That's of sick. my favorite rookie. Would you look <laughs> at that? Josh Jacobs for the Raiders. Trading group. Trading group. Good time to mention <laughs> That's that right, right. now. <laughs> we can mention the uh, HOFBC or Hall of Fame. Is it HOFBC or Hall of Fame baseball card? HOFBC H -O Trading Group on Facebook. Mm -hmm. If you're looking to deal, this would be the place to do it. If you're not Trade a Raiders zone. fan... Coincidentally, I know some. It's so, one of 99. I know. Numbered one of 99 on this radioactive rookie, Josh Jacobs from Alabama. Very, very cool. All right. High hopes for this young man right here. Colin Duncan says, epic card. Epic. Epic, man. That's like epic. All right. And what you got next? Next up. You don't see much of this anymore. Peel off protective cover. No, no, I haven't seen that since top, uh, Top's Finest in the late when 90s. When Finest first came out, uh -huh. right? So it's got a film on top of it. I don't know if anybody is ever inclined to peel it off, but you yeah, could. Some people are. They actually, oh, okay, peel it off. I'm going to peel uh, it right off. Usually you don't want to peel those off. You want to keep it as is. Yeah. It's more valuable as is. So here's, I guess, the one common of the group. Um, Philip is that like... Is it numbered or it's something? Gold. It's, it's gold. It's numbered one of them. I'm so looking come on, for it. Come on. I'm nothing? looking for it. Nothing? It says 20 of 25 on the back. But so I don't see any number unless it's behind. You have one relic and I guess one uh, one base or rookie card. Well, it's definitely not a rookie. Philip Lindsay came into the league yeah, last year. Okay, that's got to be the base or, or rookie. Okay, cool. Yeah. Sick looking card. Very nice. I'll put this in there just in case. So AU is the element for gold. Yeah, it's the, uh, what do they call it? The atomic signal or yeah. symbol? Or what's it? Some right. kind of symbol? It's been a long time since I was in science class. I haven't folks. been in high school in a while, but I'm going to show off this Josh Jacobs What here. are they called? Some kind of a symbol? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So thanks, it. James, for letting us open that pack. I hope you enjoyed watching and enjoy your stuff, and we mail it to you in a couple days. Yeah. All right. We're going to move on to Michael H. Yeah, go for it. All right. Michael H. Michael F. H., who I like to call him F. H. for some reason. Well, not for some reason, because on his uh, on his order form, it says Michael F. period, like his middle is F something. F. H. So at some point, I just started calling him Michael F. H. on all of our group breaks. <laughs> okay. Well, Michael F. H., here is some Top's Finest. Two chrome autographs per master box, and you're going to open this up to two mini boxes. LFGM. I think that F is maybe stands for something that I cannot say right now, but he's looking for Polar Bear Pete. <laughs> looking for Polar Bear Pete. Mauricio Diaz asking if we ship to Canada. Yes, we do ship to Canada. You just have to pay for it. Uh, you pay for it, and we'll ship it for sure. Get into this first one. 2019 Topps Finest. Was James he? L. James M. Uh, allegedly in the chat now. We just finished your box, James M. Wasn't that box of elements for James M.? Yeah, it was. Yeah. James M. got a nice Josh Jacobs. You must have just missed it. You'll have to go back a few minutes, James. We just finished your box like five minutes ago. All right. So, Michael F.H., not sure who your favorite team or favorite player is, but if you'd let us know, we could put some special mojo on it. I hope it pulls up for you. Yeah, he's looking for, you just said right there, looking oh. for Polar Bear Pete. Let's go Mets. Oh, Polar Bear Pete. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was like that's all right. oblivious. That is Pete Alonzo. Usually I'm the one that's oblivious. Yeah, no. 
It was me this time. Hopefully it's not contagious. Ryan O'Hearn. Kevin Kramer, Starlin Castro. Periodic table. Periodic table of elements. Is. Thank you, Soup. Yes. I knew there was some elements and there was a table involved and periodic. Mm-hmm. Like periodically I remember things. <laughs> I didn't do well in that class. I don't know how you did, but I didn't No, do well I was in terrible class. in yeah. science. Gosh. That was not my best class. Terrible. I'd probably do better at it now just because I'm more interested in that sort of thing. But back when I was younger I just could care less. Right. Was not important. Edmund Diaz, prize performers, Mick Cabrera, and Duhar. Caleb says, I can see what your shirt says, Eric. Tell everybody what it says, Caleb. Tell everybody right now. James says, I'm more than happy to see Card Shop Matt get that Josh Jacobs card. Well, oh, James... We'll, uh, you're going to have to touch base within the chat. You obviously, uh, you got to confirm that this James M is the James M that ordered from us. Until we can confirm that, we can't of officialize any trades, but... Uh, <clears throat> Willing to deal for that, for sure, James. Happy to touch base if that's the real you. Assuming it. All right. Blue Chipsy and Hap. Ooh, that's not too shabby. Oh, why can't those be signed? I know. <laughs> well, what we got here is like a Mike Trout purple. It's not really focusing too well, but that's out of 250. It's because the lighting is uh, probably, uh, let me readjust the lighting. Yeah. Followed by an Acuna and a Steward. I'm going to sleeve that up for you, Michael. I know it's no Polar Bear Pete, but hey. Nobody says no to Mike Trout showing up, ever. There you go. Now the lights. Not too bad. Last pack in the box. I think we should see an auto in here. In the first mini box. We definitely anyway. should. Granky. Smoke. There's something green. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Now right we're there. talking. That is pretty. That's a good way to start it. Luis Urias again. This is the second time we've seen his auto today. Yeah. Very, very cool. Green number six out of 99. And I'll get a, give you a chance to focus in on that. Michael F.H. From the, fist from the fist player hit. who just took over for the injured Tatis Jr. Yeah, stock is rising on this guy. He might be. Might be. Yeah. Very nice. Very cool. All right, on to mini box number two. I didn't see him chime in. But I'm sure he's happy with that. He's probably busy running around the house or something. I don't know. Yeah. Life uh, happens. Uh, life happens, yeah. Continuing on with the second half of this finest box. Pack number one. Oh, there he is. He said DANG in all caps. DANG. DANG. He said NICE down below here. But all right. Now he says, come on, Polar Bear Pete, says Michael Ooh, here. Ooh, and I got the auto right here oh, in the pack, no, it's, everyone. It's looking like a light blue color, too. Yeah. That's going to mean it's probably Tampa Bay. That's my guess. Ah, uh, We'll slow play it. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Tampa Bay. Uh, sure, old TB. Who, uh, Jake Bowers. I think Jake Bowers is a baller. I've seen some good stuff come out of him. I, I, I hope he he's turns out. He's a good player. Yeah, he's a good player. He's no polar bear Pete, but uh, you got a sick Luis Urias autograph, though, and a nice Jake Bowers rookie auto. That's cool. Decent box. Not too bad. Now we just have five more packs to go. <laughs> Maybe there's some good color in here, Card Shop. You never know. There could be a Polar Bear Pete Superfractor hanging out in one of these packs That's right now. true. Could be a Polar Bear Pete Superfractor. Guzman, Witt, Yaddy, Brian Anderson, and Posey. Woo! 
Rowdy Tellez, Cedric Mullins, Bregman Blue Chip, Clayton Kershaw, Yelich Bubble Puck. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, Shane B is on deck with a box of Topps Chrome coming up, followed by Soup, who uh, wants us to crack a little pack of Bowman Sterling for him, followed by a couple more. Ooh, there you go. Speaking of color, Shohei Otani followed that up, but a Marcus Stroman, orange, numbered 16 out of 25. He's a Blue Jay, speaking of talent in the Blue Jays organization. And take a look at that. 16 out of 25. Not oh. too bad. Shane B says, nice orange. Yes, it was. Yeah, this one's hard to open. Marcus Stroman, Chicago Police. <laughs> <laughs> Arenado Bregman. It's a Chris Shaw rookie and Luis Arias again. Showing up again in this box. <laughs> JD Martinez, Brandon Crawford, Chapman, Chance Adams, and Ramon Laureano. That's going to rhyme out that. Top's finest box. I'll highlight the hits real quick. The Stroman, Jake Bowers auto, and the nice one is Green Luis Urias out of 99. But now he's got a second little box coming. His archive signature. Double up for Michael H. Here Michael go. H. Two times. Here we go. On deck, Shane B. In the hole, soup. In the second hole is Peter B. Followed by Matt W. All right, here we go. Matthew W. That's Matthew W. I know him. I don't know him, but yeah, he's been supporting us for a long time. But who we got here? We got Charlie Morton with the Pirates. 13 out of 19. 13 out of 19. That's a very oddly numbered card, but it's a very cool looking card. Yeah, it's kind of reminds me of the throwbacks of like uh, 89s or something like that. Maybe not 89. That design, I believe, is like 19... Whoa, that was weird. Please do not lose power. Our, our lights just flickered in here. If we lose power, we'll try to come back on live, folks, just so you know. Lights just flickered for some reason. It's not incredibly hot today, is it? No, it's not. Cool. Charlie Morton. There you go, Michael. It's only 87 right now, so it shouldn't be a heat issue. 13 out of 19 on that one. We'll get that sent over to you. We we'll switch up. Uh, yeah, we'll switch up. Let's All do right. it. Thanks, Maddie. Card shop coming back in. Thank you for letting me open those. All right. Oh, back in the hot seat. You gotta go. Okay, Matt's gotta go. Thanks, buddy. Say goodbye to card shop, Matt. Everybody, he's going to exit stage left and leave me all by my lonesome. Hello, 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 hello. Is anybody here? Here, here, here. All right, Shane B now batting with a box of 2019 Topps Chrome Hobby. On deck, soup. In the hole, Peter B. Let's go, Shane B. Where are you at, buddy? Where are you at? Tell us your favorite baseball team and your favorite player on that team right now in the chat. All right, Manny. Thanks, bud. Let's see. Shane B. Red Sox and Devers all day, he says. Well, hopefully we can find something Red Sox in here for you. Let's see what's up. Do you want to pick a stack? One, two, three, or four? I'll start with that stack if you uh, respond in the next few seconds here. One, two, three, or four. And I'll start with that stack. You're looking for two chrome autographs per box on here. 
He says, I'll let you choose. All right, I'm just going to go uh, eh, one, two, three. I'll go with four then, just because. I'm going to go with four. Let's see what's up in stack four here. Thanks for jumping in, Shane. Happy to have you. Sean Reed Foley, little horizontal rookie there, coming out first and foremost. Followed by Eloy. Nice Eloy rookie. Followed by Trevor Bauer Prism and... Ooh, Xander Bogarts. It's not the Devers you were looking for, but it is a Red Sox, and he's a good player as well. Many players on the Red Sox are very good. Hopefully that's a sign of things to come. Corey Kluber, Bryce Wilson, Giancarlo, and Ozzy Albies. Shane B. says, I'll definitely take it. Right on. Ooh, Mookie Betts, another uh, very good red sock there. Dylan Bundy, Reese McGuire, and Rubel Herrera. Here's Sean Manea, Max Muncy, Nick Kingham, and Edwin Diaz. Heimer Candelario, Cedric Mullins, freshman flash rookie, Rowdy Tellez, and Josh Donaldson. Brandon Belt, later Bubble Pug. Don't forget to wash your hands and uh, say grace and be thankful for your meal. <laughs> Chew with your mouth closed. Uh, Nicholas Castellanos purple parallel right here, backed by Willie Adames. Purple parallels are numbered out of 299. 116 of 299. Castellanos. By the way, I keep forgetting to mention about our personal challenge to like this video. If you guys haven't hit that thumbs up yet, hit that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get anywhere near our, old, our new record. Our new record is 124 likes. Let's see. I went four. I'm going to go stack one this time. All right. <laughs> Aaron Judge here. Fran Mill Reyes. Shane Green and Eric Hosmer. Goldie, Lugo, Urias, and Jeff McNeil. Hoping to pull some Red Sox for Shane B here. Will Myers, Trey Mancini, Severino, and Dean Dietz. Danny Jansen, Brandon Crawford, up oh, first autograph, not Red Sox, it's Indians, Adam Simber, looks like somebody bumped his elbow as he was finishing that signature right there, it's a nice on-card rookie autograph, Cleveland Indians, Adam Simber, so that's your first hit there, Shane. It's geographically close to Boston, Cleveland is, closer than Los Angeles. If you guys uh, want to trade amongst people that are in our collecting community, visit us on Facebook at HOFBC Trading Group. Just request to join. It's for trading only, which is the purest form of the hobby. And we're trying to keep it alive. There's over 200 people in that group now. Here's Mike Trout and Hank Aaron. David Fletcher. And George Springer. What's up, Ivan? Ivan's back. Kyle Seeger, McCutcheon, O'Hearn, and Mazzara. 
Now let's see. I went four, then I went one. Now let's go back up here. I'm going to open this stack. See if the second autograph is in here. Jesus Aguilar, Evan Longoria, Josh James, and Tuki Toussaint. <laughs> Justice Sheffield, Jake Cave, Jose Urena, and Dakota Hudson. Nick Birdie, Ronald Guzman, Noah Syndergaard, Marcus Stroman, De Leon, Corbin, Suarez, and Givens. Cozart, Turner, Kyle Wright, and Joey Votto. Carlos Santana, Oye Como Va. Steven Duggar. Michael Kopech, a little prism rookie there, followed by Yelich, the man himself. Where's Yelich at in the home run count right now? Has he hit 40 yet? Anybody? Anybody? I'm looking at you guys out here. Anybody? Where's Yelich at? Somebody tell me. Oh, here we go. Here's something right here. Check this out. Corbin Burns. Behind him, we've got, hey, case hit. Pudge. Debut gear. Yvonne Rodriguez. This is uh, one per case on these cards, I believe. And this numbered 68 of 99. Yelly's at, so what's the, uh, who's the top five on the home runs? Belly's at 42, Trout 41, Yelly 41. Wow. Alonso's Belly, 40. Belly, Trout, Yelly, who? And Alonzo's at 40. Alonzo, top four. And then next guy's 35, Jay Soler. Uh, Soler. Soler. Soler's in the top five. Interesting. Soler coming up. How many do you have? 35. 35? All right. The big guys are all in Shane B, where are you at? What do you think about this? Shane B just said, boom, all caps, period. Pudge Rodriguez, man. Case hit. Can't be too mad about that. Let's see what else is lingering in the rest of your box here. Kyle Tucker. Robinson Cano. Foci. Kristen Stewart. Brandon Nimmo. Shane B says, love it. Blake Trinan, Desmond, Whit Merrifield, and Fran Mill Reyes. D. Gordon, J.D. Martinez, Patrick Wisdom, and Ronald Acuna Jr. Chris Shaw, Harrison Bader, Ooh, look at bonus for you, Shane B. How about a Ryan Barucki on-card rookie autograph, huh? Looks to be a refractor as well. Wouldn't be a tops break without Ryan Barucki, would it? There we go. Numbered 335 out of 499. Shane B, you can't be mad at that. Three hits out of a two-hit hobby box. Dozier, Shohei Otani, Future Stars card. Those are nice. Dansby and Kiermaier. Last pack for Shane B. At the moment, at least. Jake Lamb, Nick Markakis, Jose Abreu, and Aaron Nola rounding it out. So we didn't get any of your Red Sox for the hits, but you did find Ryan Barucki, of course. He's easy to be found this year. You found the case hit in Pudge Rodriguez. You found an Adam Simber on-card autograph, and you found a purple parallel of Castellano. So all in all, not too bad. Thanks, Shane, for jumping in and participating with us tonight. 
Hope you enjoyed that. <clears throat> Sip of water. All right, now batting. Soup, what's up? Soup, you still up in these right now? Yeah, he is. Soup's dropping links right now. Soup is also not only is he's a not only is he a moderator, he's also a friend. <laughs> uh, all right, buddy. Soup at the plate right now. On deck is Peter B. In the hole is Matt W. Swinging for the fences. Favorite team: Dodgers. Favorite player: Nolan Arenado. Okay, that's fine with me. Let's see what we get out of a quick rip for Superman here. Everybody keep your fingers crossed. Say what's up to the soup man. Let's see what he gets in Bowman Sterling. I'm predicting Ryan Barucki, Sean Reed Foley. All right. Here you go, buddy. First pack, or first card, Dean Dietz, rookie. Houston. Uh, Nick Senzel, Washington, rookie. We've also got Drew Waters, base card in the back. We've got Garrett Hampson, rookie card, behind him. And in the middle of the pack, oh, oh, Michael Kopech, rookie. <laughs> they, they keep mixing up the hits, I believe. They're in like, it's either card three or card four. It hasn't been the same. So it's hard to, let's see who the hit is. Here we go, bud. Is Rennell Wilson. Playing with the Atlanta Braves organization. Tight little signature there. Braves. So it's not Dodgers. It's not Arenado or Colorado. It's Israel Wilson with the Atlanta Braves. Soup, do you know anything about Mr. Wilson? Keep an eye on him. He plays for a good team. I'm trying to find out what position he plays right now. It doesn't, doesn't show his position on here, but uh, there you go, bud. That's a quick rip for the soup man of some 2019 Bowman Sterling. We're going to be seeing more Bowman Sterling right now because now batting. <laughs> Thanks again, soup. Appreciate you, man. Now batting is uh, Peter B. Peter B., are you up in the chat right now? On deck, Matthew W. In the hole, Ivan Arroyo. Now we're going to get to see a whole box of Bowman Sterling for Peter B. Peter Bombara, he says yes. All right, let's see what's up. I can get this box open. I will commence to opening up some packs. Peter B. Tell us real quick. Favorite team, favorite player on that team, and then tell me which pack you want me to open up first. One, two, three, four, or five. If you can do that in the next 10 seconds, that would be awesome. While I take a sip of water. He says, Yankees, Aaron Judge, and Pack 4. One, two, three, four. That'll be the bottom left corner. All right. Let's see if we can, we can find you any Yankees stuff in here. People wishing you good luck. What's up, Wento? 
Good to have your positivity up in the chat today. Matthew Bertore, Tristan McKenzie, Austin Riley out of 199. Sleeve that. And Sheldon Noose is your first autograph, followed by greatest name in baseball, Seth Cold Beer, and Adonis Medina. So, first autograph uh, goes with the Athletics, Sheldon Noose right there. And you also got this Austin Riley numbered card out of 199. Unless you're a big Oakland A's fan, that's kind of ho hum right there. So we're gonna move on. Uh, let's see. You want to pick the next boxes? Uh, give me an order. One, two, three, or four. Just pick four numbers. Put them in order. The order that you want to see them opened up. How about that? <laughs> Seth's last name changes when he travels to Australia to Seth Foster's. I get it because Foster's is Australian for beer. <laughs> Peter B says, my pick. All right, my pick, I'm going to go backwards. Let's go backwards. Semi-backwards. Austin Riley, Stephen Duggar, Nolan Jones, autograph should be behind him, uh, but behind the autograph we got Yusei Kikuchi Kuchi Ku, Jake Bowers, saw one of his autographs recently, and the autograph in this pack is, ooh, it's LA, even though you like Yankees, let's see who could be on LA right now. Is it Dustin May? Yeah! People in L.A. love Dustin May right now. He's a nice kid. He's got a good arm. Great hair. Yeah, little Dustin May. little prospect auto. That's cool. I think they could have featured his hair a little bit more in this picture. But, uh... He's got a pretty sweet looking little signature right there. I like that. It's nice. So there you go. Nice little hit. At least I think it's a nice hit. I'll try to work my magic for you now. I'm going to actually save the middle pack for last this time. I'm going to save the middle pack for last. Come on, Yankees. Let me pull some Yankees for Peter B. I think Judge autographs in this product are really hard to get, but I think he has autographs on the uh, Bowman Sterling Retrospect cards. That would be sick to find one of those. Here's Rowdy Tellez, Bryce Wilson, De Los Santos, Victor Victor Mesa. A name so good, so good it had to be said twice. Hunter Green, still on the DL, I believe, and the autograph is. Texas Rangers. Man, I was really hoping for Yankees right now, buddy. Ra uh, Brock Burke. I wonder if he knows Brooke Burke. Hmm? Brock Burke right there. On card auto with the Texas Rangers organization. All right, two packs left. I'm, th I'm thinking Yankees right now. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it, you know? I'm thinking about Yankees. Whew. Here we go. Mackenzie Gore. Royce Lewis. Jesus Sanchez. Joe Adele. We got some blue color behind Royce Lewis. Is it signed? Jonathan Hernandez. Man, it's more Texas Rangers, but it is blue. It's numbered low. 19 of 25. Nice little blue refractor on card auto right there. Boom. Backed by Jazz Chisholm.
I really wanted that to be Yankees. Well, there's still one box here, or one pack left in this box, I should say. Maybe some last pack mojo here. Uh, on deck, by the way, Matthew W. And then uh, Ivan looks like Ivan's going to be closing the program with a pack of tribute. And actually, uh, we're going to try some Moxie Soda. Hopefully James R. is still around. All right, everybody think Yankees right now for Peter B. Let's see if we can make it happen. Fernando Tatis Jr. Keston Hura. Ooh, it's gold. There's a gold card behind it. That's always good. Ooh, okay. Kybert Ruiz, base. Alec Bohm, base. Soily Matias. Seely? I don't know how you pronounce that, but it doesn't matter because I want to see what this gold card is. Behind the Keston Hira rookie should be a gold refractor autograph. All right. Well, I got bad news for you, Peter. It's not Yankees. Because I do see the Sox logo up here on top. You ready for this? Some gold. Three, two, one. Nick Madrigal. Woo! Nick Madrigal, gold refractor auto on card number 24 out of 50. It's not Judge and it ain't Yankees, but it is a top pick right there in Nicky Mad. That is sick. Let me sleeve that up before I mess something up. Not horrible at all. That's a good young autograph right there, man. You want to hang on to this guy's autographs. This guy's going to be coming up. The Sox have a good young system, man. Didn't see that coming either, Wento. That's a nice looking card, man. The gold looks great, too. That's sick. So there you go, Peter B. Hope you enjoyed watching that. I hope to have you back again. Hope you give us another shot, maybe next Monday. That's a pretty nice looking card, though. I think you should be happy. I think that's a decent box. Yeah, do you mind uh, tossing me another bottle of water real fast? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Is Ivan up? No, now batting Matthew W. He's our uh, local truck driver friend. And he wanted us to crack a box of Unparalleled. Matthew, I'm glad you jumped in on this Unparalleled. I was hoping somebody would. I thought Brian L. might. But then I saw him this weekend that he picked up a box in store this weekend. I was like, ah, he may not jump in with Unparalleled. Brian L. did jump in with uh, Certified, though. Thanks, Brian. But Matthew jumping on the Unparalleled, which is brand new. This product just released. Uh, real quick shout out to Jeremy Gonzalez with a dollar ninety nine super chat. Thanks, Jeremy. He says, "What do you think is the best pack to get?" Well, maybe you could be more specific on that question. Um, but a best pack for personal breaks? I don't know. Bowman Sterling is a good pack. Tops tribute. Uh, Panini leather and lumber. That's actually a great pack for a personal break. All right, Matthew W. I'm looking for you in the chat. You may be driving the truck right now and not able to respond. I know uh, two autographs and one memorabilia card per box on average. There he is, Chuck Wagon. There you are, Matthew. Show me some sweet Mahomes, he says. I'll do my best, buddy. I will do my best. Let's see what's up. I like these cards. This is a great looking product. Look at the look at the color on this, man. Matthew, are you driving right now or are you chilling? Are you moving or stationary or what? Are you able to chat a little bit or are you driving? If you're driving, I won't uh, ask you too many questions. So he said Mahomes is who he's looking for. Let's see. He's chilling. All right, good. He can he can chat a little bit. 
Oh, first autograph. Wow, coming right out. Hunter Renfro. That's funny. <laughs> it's not Renfro who plays for the Padres. This is Renfro who plays for the Raiders. If Matt were here right now, he could tell me a little bit more about this guy. That's funny that his name is Hunter Renfro. Fro or Frau, I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm going to call him Fro just because. But that's your first hit. Rookie auto, Raiders. Yeah, these cards are sick. These cards are nice, for sure. Check out some of like, I'm like, just look, just look closely. Look at this. Scooby doop doop, got a heart at last. Doom da boom da boom da da da. Do do boop do boop do do do. Be do be do be do be do do do. Be do 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 be do. Ooh ah. Do 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 do. Ooh ah. Very disco is all I'm saying on these cards. Very disco. I need to like turn off the lights and get a disco ball going overhead. That'd be a lot of fun. I actually might do that. Cam Newton and Deshaun Watson. That was the first disco era song that came in the top of my head. All right. Chuck Wagon, Matthew says, I love these cards, look so good. Irv Smith Jr. Nick Bosa. <laughs> Yama's watching the monitor in the back room. All I hear is him saying, yeah, oh my God. These guys are sick, huh? Josh Jacobs, there's Matt's Raider rookie guy right there. Rookie focus card. Gennard Avery. Some cool little spinny lights on that one. These cards are trippy, man. Peter Columbay. Bye. <laughs> Ryan Kerrigan. Jared Goff and Jalen Ramsey. No Mahomes yet. I'm actually gonna just take the packs out of this box. This pack feels kind of thick. If I could get it open, I'll show you what's inside. That's why I keep my thumbnails a little bit longer. I don't know if you folks have noticed, but I keep my thumbnails just a little bit longer just to help peel open those packs. AJ Brown. So also helps on my finger picking for guitar a little bit. Quinnen Williams. Oh, big hit behind him. Well, at least it, I didn't see the name, but it's a thick card. Christian Wilkins. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the card right there. Antoine Wesley. These cards are so nasty looking. I mean, come on. Uh, Miles Gaskin. Bom, bom, ba -na -na -na. Wow, wow, wow. And Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady, a couple of legends right there. Living legends, back to back. And the hit from that pack. Ooh, uh, Devin Singletary. Devin Singletary, unparalleled autograph with the Bills. No Mahomes. I wonder if he's related to Mike Singletary. Nice looking card though. Nice little, nice little patch up on there. So there you go, Matthew. Second hit from the box. You do one more, which should be a relic. I think there's two autos and two memorabilia. So you've gotten two autos. Ivan, Ivan back with a two dollar super chat to say those cards are awesome. Period. Yes, they are. They're very exciting to look at. These boxes are called Panini Unparalleled Football. If you guys like them, we do have these boxes available on our website. 
for purchase. I think I might even have one more personal break box available right now. Here's DeAndre Baker. The thrill of victory with Juju Smith-Schuster. Case Keenum right there with a little bit of psychedelia. Pew, 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 pew. James Kowser. Chase Winovich. And Blake Jarwin and Jamison Crowder rounding out that pack. Thanks, Ivan, for the uh, super chat, by the way. If I didn't say thank you before, I thought I did, but in case I forgot. Nikhil Harry right here. Pats. I haven't seen even a hint of Mahomes yet. Here's Stanley Morgan Jr. Here is Michael Thomas. Nice. Nice card there. Spirit of the game. That's kind of fun. See how the color in that one. Ooh, look at this one. Tedrick Thompson. Look at that. Boom. Boom, boom, ba -na 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 In the God of the Vita, honey. Don't you know that I love you? Very psychedelic 60s. Nick Chubb, Kurt Cousins, Spencer Pulley, and Darius Leonard rounding out the pack. Three packs left. I'm going to open up this one here. By the way, that song that I keep singing right now, In Agata De Vida, for two fake points, can anybody tell me the band that originally wrote that song? Here's David Long. Here's DeAndre Walker. And Julian Edelman. James R. coming in on Deep Purple. That is correct. Deep, or no, I'm sorry, <laughs> Iron Butterfly is what James R. said, and that's correct. M Mark Slider said Deep Purple. That's incorrect. I feel like you're messing with me. Anyone who said Iron Butterfly is correct. James R. was the first one to say that. Ivan jokingly said you too. <laughs> uh, Gardner Minshew. Uh, Iron Butterfly, by the way, that song is, I believe it's like 18 minutes long, the original version of that song. It's got this massive just drum solo in the middle and a bunch of guitar and keyboard solos and Iron Butterfly in Agata Da Vida. Jace Sternberger, Packers. Not even a hint of Mahomes. Brian Burns. Eddie Jackson on the rise. That's a cool looking card. It's kind of like a plaid. And the plaid lines are like moving when I move the card back and forth. Can you guys see that? That's amazing. Uh, Carry on Johnson. That's a cool looking card. Wow. It's like a, uh, it's like a time warp. Mike Ilton right there, Mike Ilton, followed by Samson Ibukam, followed by Terrell Suggs and Jenner Avery. All right, last pack for Matthew W., Chuck Wagon. Here's your last pack. He says, at this point, I'll be happy with anything Kansas City. I haven't even seen a hint of Kansas City in these packs yet. But you do have some kind of a, probably a relic right here. You can see that thick card hanging out. Dylan Mitchell. Andy Isabella. Thick card behind him. We'll save that for a minute. Whoops. I think I already spoiled it. Uh, Xavier Woods. Devin Kennard. Uh, Drew Locke. Anthony Miller. 
James Conner, and your hit, your final hit. I don't think it was uh, KC, but it is Baker Mayfield for the Cleveland Browns. Nice little patch there. It's numbered 131 out of 150. How nice of them. How nice. So there we go. Last hit. Touchdown threads for Baker Mayfield. It's a dark brown swatch. Hard to see, but it is feels like a patch to me. Yeah, if you don't like it, you can trade it to, to someone else who does for something that you want. So you found that. We also found uh, this uh, Devin Singletary. Nice little auto patch there. And your first hit out of that box was Hunter Renfro, Raiders rookie autograph right there. Thanks, Matthew. Appreciate your continued support, man. Coming up, we got we got Ivan uh, coming up. Ivan and then uh, Travis M. So Ivan got a pack of tribute, and then Travis M. got a, is trying his luck with some archive signature in just a moment. And we don't have anything else lined up after that. Uh, I'm going to take our last call right now. I'm going to take our last call right now. I'm going to drop the link. Anybody else wants to get a box in before we end? Get it in right now. Meanwhile, Ivan got a pack of Topps Tribute. Let's see what's inside Ivan's pack of Tribute. Javier Baez. Luis Severino. I'm not even sure if Ivan's still in the chat right now. I know he's uh, in New Orleans celebrating his uh, fiance's birthday, so he may not be in here at this exact moment right now. He might be. But let's check out Ivan's hit. I think it's backwards. Here we go. I'm going to flip it this way. Tops Tribute. It's a dual relic. Reds. Yeah, Joey Votto on the left, Billy Hamilton on the right, numbered one out of 99. One out of 99 right there. So there you go, Ivan. Dual relic from Tops, tier one, or tribute, excuse me. One out of 99, not bad. Thank you, Ivan. Appreciate you jumping in, even though you're kind of running around another, another part, the other part of the country. And this is looking to be probably our last box. I don't think anyone else is getting in under the deadline right now, so this will probably be the last box of the break. And then uh, we're actually going to try hang out for, for a few minutes after this if you want to see us try... Uh, some of the moxie soda that was sent to us by James R. James R., hopefully you're still in the chat right now. I've seen him popping kind of in and out over the last couple hours. But this box right here is for Travis M. So we're going to focus on Travis M. I wonder if Travis M. is in the chat right now. Remember, if, if we don't know you already, uh, when you sign up for personal breaks, drop your... Tell us your YouTube handle when you place your order. Write your YouTube handle down in the notes to sellers so that we can identify you online. It makes it a lot easier. So this is for Travis M. I'm not sure what his YouTube handle is. But here you go, Travis M. If you're watching now, if you're watching later, hopefully you enjoy what's inside. This is a quick rip. He says, present, tra a, tra a one Travis Mercy Murphy, excuse me. I'm assuming that's you. I'm hoping it is, and I'm hoping to pull you something good behind this lid. Let's check it out together. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. That's not too bad. How about an all-star catcher in Wilson Contreras? Nice little autograph numbered uh, three. 
out of 89. Three out of 89. Can't be mad at that. Cannot be mad at that. And this is from 2017 Tops. Wilson Contreras right there. You know, I got to admit something. I always thought that his, his first name was spelled with one L. I guess I never noticed that it had two L's there. That's funny. I guess if you kind of just gloss over his name, it kind of just looks like one L. That's just me. But Wilson Contreras, nice card, man. Nice way to end. I think you should be pretty happy with that. This product is a very super hit or miss product, but to get a name of a guy who's an all-star with an on-card auto, kind of semi-low numbered like that, I think that's pretty cool. Okay. Tops factory sealed. So thanks, Travis. Appreciate you, man. He says, my go-to fantasy player. Well, that's good, man. He'll be getting this uh, card in the mail later on in the week. Right now, we're going to try some Moxie Soda. Because that's the end of our break period. Yama, am I right? That is it. All right. So we got no more breaks for this evening. So uh, that's the end of the uh, program officially. If you haven't hit that like button yet, please hit that like button. We're not going to get close to our current record of 124 likes. I wasn't really shouting it out that often anyways. So it's kind of my fault. But uh, we are going to have some fun right now. Not with cards, but with some soda pop. Now, I have one on deck right here. Just uh, This was just sitting on deck to remind me to try this out. And uh, me and Yama are going to try a couple of cold Moxie sodas right now. Do you have time to ditch that phone call and join me on live right now? James R. So James R., if you guys were watching last Monday at the end of the break, James R. had sent us this fresh 12-pack of... Pull out two. Yeah, pull out one for yourself. These aren't as cold as I was hoping they would be. <laughs> That's all right. He, so James R. bought us these Wicked Whoopie Pies, which, by the way, they didn't last very long around these parts. Those were gone pretty fast. But they were incredible. We tried them live right here on the air. And James R. lives in Maine, and he wanted to send us some classic Maine treats. So Wicked Whoopie Pies, and he also sent us what is called Moxie Soda. I'd never heard of it in my life. I've actually never been to Maine. I'd like to come someday. But it's like an orange can with a blue and white logo. It's got this guy pointing at us, telling us to drink Moxie.com there at the bottom. <laughs> James R. is saying, this may not be as good as the Whoopie Pies. He says, it's an acquired taste. Do you, do you think these would go well with a Whoopie Pie? Because I think we still have, wasn't there one more pie in there? Yeah. You want to bust it out? Yeah. Might as well. Let's bust out. There's Let's one pie left. Right There's now. one pie left out of that dozen. It's been chilling in the fridge. I found those pies actually are really good when they come out of the fridge. Nice and cool. We need paper towels for sure. So at this point, we're done breaking cards. We're just having fun here, folks. If you happen to just be popping in right now, you caught us at the end of a segment right now. And uh, we're trying some soda pop that was sent to us by, uh, by James R., who's one of our kind of regulars in the chat group. I've never met James. Don't know who, who he is or what he looks like or how old he is or who knows. I don't even really know what gender he is. I would be guessing male because of the name James R., but you never know in this day and age. I know nothing about James R., except his YouTube channel is James R., and he seems like a nice person, or she seems like a nice person. Here's the whoopie pie from last week, so this has been sitting in the uh, sitting in the fridge since last week, but it should still be good. I think this has a shelf life of about four to five hundred years. <laughs> I'm going to open this up because I have a feeling that Moxie Soda is going to wash down the whoopie pie quite well. But we're going to try Moxie Soda by itself first. All right? Here we go. Moxie Soda from Maine. Drinkmoxie.com. Thanks, James R. Thank you. Cheers to you, buddy. Moxie. 
Smells kind of licorice-y. Yeah. What's up, That's Ivan? Ivan. Ivan back. We got to shout out Ivan with the $5 super chat. Thank you, guys. Can't wait to hang out Thursday. Hi, Chris. Absolutely, Ivan. Get home safe from New Orleans. Have yeah. fun with uh, Roseanne out there for her birthday. And uh, we're definitely looking forward to Thursday, man. And James R., Moxie Soda. I'm trying to like put, I'm trying to put a flavor on it. It's distinguishedly different. It's like, it's kind of like, I'm gonna do it right now. Yeah. It's kind of like, it's almost like a Barks root beer, like some kind of a root beer it's meets like a, meets like a ale. black ri licorice. It's like Same. ginger ale-y. Yeah, root beery ginger ale-y. It's pretty good. I feel like if this was a lot colder than my fridge was able to get it, it would be really good. Yeah. And these wicked whoopie pies, man. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I probably gained 12 pounds over the last week, thanks to you, James R. <laughs> wow. Wicked whoopie. Those things are bomb. Night, Ivan. Thanks, buddy. So, yeah, we're just freewheeling it right now. James R. sent us some Wicked Whoopie Pies last Monday. This week he sent us some Moxie Soda. And I like it. Nothing wrong with it for me. Distinctively different. Distinctively different. I it really it. is. It's really good. Thanks, James. Yeah, he sent us a nice note. Just said, hey, we just want to say thank you for doing these breaks and putting on these episodes and send you a little taste of Maine. So super thoughtful, James. Uh, would love to meet you sometime if you ever get a chance to get out to L.A., man. Yeah. Obviously, make sure you stop by the shop. And that'd be great. But that's all we got for you guys today. I think we're going to head out here. And we'll catch you on Wednesday. Wednesday at 2 p.m. We're doing a full case of the brand new Tops Archives. A full case of Tops Archives on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Hopefully, Thursday or Friday, maybe Friday would be a good day to do our uh, Panini Chronicles full case. But that still needs to sell out. I just dropped the link to our group breaks page. Check out the Panini Chronicles full case break. It's pick your teams, 64 hits out of that case. Everybody's going to get a piece. Pick a team, any team. It doesn't even matter. The cheapest spots are $29.99. That's as cheap as they're going to get. Buy, you can buy three of those spots for less than the price of a full box of this product. Get a bunch of spots. Jump in. Have some fun with us. We hope to see you on Wednesday. Thanks again to Ivan, to Soup for moderating. James R. for the Moxie Soda and Whoopie Pies. Man, that's stellar. Solid, man. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone else, for watching, hitting that like button, and for being subscribed right here to our channel, Hall of Fame Baseball Cards, Arcadia, California, where it's always a beautiful day for collecting. Oh. See you all on Wednesday. Have a good evening. Peace.